Down here on your audio, we also have a mute and solo. Mute and solo, and this is a record if you're doing voiceovers. I'll have a separate episode on that eventually. But what this does is as you're playing, and right now I don't have my audio hooked up, but this will, and basically what this will do is it will mute the, that track that you're working on, and this will solo it. If you hit S, solo, it's basically going to play only that track. And you can solo uh, several tracks, so it'll just play back two tracks at, at once and ignore the others. Or if you hit mute, it will not play the, that, those tracks back at all until you untoggle it. As I mentioned at the very bottom here, you have a zoom. But you zoom out, you zoom um, in, in and out to see your entire timeline or a portion of your timeline. I kind of don't use this very much because pretty much I use the shortcuts on my keyboard, uh, plus and minus at the top of my keyboard, plus to zoom up, minus to zoom out. And if you want to see your entire timeline at once, hit the slash, uh, the forward slash above the uh, return or enter key. And that will show your entire timeline. There you go. And that, now I can see it, it zoomed in my entire timeline by hitting the slash above the enter key. So plus, minus, forward slash above the enter key and there you go. A couple other things for navigating. As I mentioned in the source monitor, you've got JKL. J is your rewind key, K is your stop key, L is your forward key. So I've got my three fingers on on those keys right now and if I hit J, rewind, K, stop, L, forward and I can also uh, go faster by hitting L, 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 L and it fast forwards, K to stop, J to rewind and J, 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 J several times and it goes fast forward keeps increasing speeds until you hit K to stop. And uh, if you need to go through frame by frame, you hit arrow right, and it goes forward one frame at a time. Arrow left goes backward one frame at a time. If you hold down shift and hit arrow left, it jumps five frames at a time. You can see that in my time code there that it's skipping five frames at a time. And shift, arrow right, goes five frames forward at a, uh, one at a time. If you hold down shift and hold down your arrow key, it shuttles through it at twice the speed. If you hold down your shift and arrow left, it does it at twice the speed backwards. And if you let go of the shift key, it does it at 50%. And it, uh, right now I'm just holding down the arrow. And if you do it, hold down your right uh, arrow forward, it, go, it shuttles through at 50%. So if you're trying to find something kind of quickly, you can uh, hold down your shuttle keys. You can hit JKL to rewind, K to stop, L to forward. Another little navigation feature here, I'm going to hit plus, 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 zoom up a little bit, Our arrows up and down. Arrows up and down will land on edits. I'm arrowing up right now, and it's landing on edits to the left. Arrow down lands on edits to the right. All right, one more thing in our timeline here is the wrench. This is the marker. I'm going to have a future episode on adding markers, but you can add markers on on actual clips and timelines uh, in the timeline by hitting your M key right there. It did it on a selected clip, and if I don't have a selected clip, it will do it on the uh, timeline. And that's for making notes uh, on certain portions of your timeline or clips.